What's up, dreamers? You got Mathers, aka David Dreams, coach of the Boston Weasels here. And we're for week two of the APL, the Alpha Pokemon League, versus Gengar Raichu. I keep wanting to say Gengar Raichu. I think I may have said that in my team builder. But it is Gengar Raichu. Two, two Pokemon right next to each other. Anyway, let's look at the teams. We got my team. If you didn't see the team builder, you can check that out. Uh, but I got Zygarde. Lycanroc, uh, Decidueye, Tapu Fini, Zeb Stryka, and Gligar. My opponent decided to bring Electivire, Mega Aerodactyl, Milotic, um, Jirachi, Porygon Z, and Delmese. A lot of shinies on this side as well. Also really excited to see that the, um, the uh, Nidoking is not there, so I don't really need to worry about that thing. Uh, biggest threats, of course, still things like uh, Electivire. And definitely, if it's like a life orb set, could definitely put in some work. But if it is a life orb, that, that a good amount of my Pokemon outspeed. And I do have three electric immunities. Uh, Aerodactyl, of course, a big threat. But I do have Gligar, who can hopefully kind of deal with that. And uh, other than that, Jirachi, of course, with the flinches, potentially like a scarf. Porygon could be frightening. Uh, but I'm just going to leave like in Rocky and either way, try to get my rocks up right from the start. As he leads Jirachi, I don't like that, because he could definitely flinch me. I think I'm going to go right to Gligar, as he just goes for the Stealth Rocks, okay. Uh, I don't want to go for Earthquake, because I feel like he's not going to stay in here. I just realized I have my fan on. That's probably been pretty annoying. I apologize. Wait, do I not have defog? Oh, why am I so dumb? <laughs> oh, I do have defog. Wow. Okay, well, I'll just defog these. <laughs> he actually has to stay in and go for a wish. I'm gonna SD on his either stealth rocks or protect. As he does pull a switch there into. My Lodic, so that's a pretty solid play. And there's the burn. Cool thing though is that I can go into my Tapu Fini and pretty much wall this thing. Can't even toxic me while I have the Mist to turn up. So I guess if it's an elongated battle, it can toxic me. But if he goes for toxic right now, which is not a great pivot because uh, I'm immune to toxic with my Gligar. But I can also take water type move, which is the main reason I'm switching to water and ice type. Let's see what he goes for. By the way, we're listening to a uh, playlist by Mewmore. It's just a bunch of uh, Pokemon songs. I believe this is Team Magma slash Aqua song remix. <laughs> hey, you know the song. So I think... I just, I think I just went with Zygarde eventually. Alright, in comes Tapu Fini, the Scald does basically nothing. And there's no chance of burn, obviously, because of uh, Misty Terrain. Uh, what could he go into here? Delmi's... He could go... Uh, Electivire would be a very, very aggressive switch. But this thing actually takes on his team fairly well. The only thing that's really offensively threatening are the Delmies and the Electivire, and I think Moonblast would be my best play in that scenario. Because his only resist to Moonblast is Jirachi, and I don't really fear that thing coming in. So I'm just going to go right for the Moonblast. 226 special attack, and that's basically uninvested. Oh, I could have called mine, dude. Like, I guess that's okay. Like, you, learn, you, you lose HP to burn, and I gain leftovers, so... Moonblast not doing a lot. Get the special attack drop though as it goes for another Scald. Cool. That's like the one thing that's like, like yeah, the Marvel scale burn is cool, but you lack, you lose out on leftovers. I guess it does get recover, so. But I'm gonna go for a Calm Mind here. He's, I assume he's either gonna protect or switch or something. Still fearing that Del needs to come out, but I guess I'm not fearing it that much. Eh, it is kind of tough to switch into for me. If I can 
this, switch to Sidui in on a grass type move, then that'd be ideal. But okay, nice. He goes into this, which means like what he has Stealth Rock and Wish. So like, what are the chances he has like Thunder Punch? So I'm just gonna go for a plus one Surf as he goes for Light Screen. Ooh, okay. Uh, I'm hit him with a Taunt. <laughs> So he may not even have an attack. Ah. So this is in. <laughs> I think my play is just to go right into Gligar, stall out these the light screen a little bit, and try to determine if he's life orb or not. So yeah, we I think a pretty safe to say that Jirachi has no offensive moves based on that turn because I taunted him. He had already shown three moves, and they were non-offensive moves. So, yeah, I think it's safe to say that Jirachi is not does not have an offensive attack. <laughs> what was that music? <laughs> Ooh, nice piano. This is uh, through the Sea of Time from Pokemon Mystery Dungeon: Explorers of Time slash Darkness. Just in case you were wondering. Okay, so the threat is in. This thing is definitely a threat. Ooh, I like this song. Uh, if he makes a nice prediction here, goes for the ice punch, then I could be in a weird position. He's really taking his time. I wonder if I could even eat from this. Let me just calc this. Defensive. I hope you'll run speed. I didn't know that. Okay. And uh, Electivire. Uh, let's say they have Life Orb on this. Oh, they're putting them. Some... Okay. So I can physically biased. <laughs> and give them like Wild Charge. So I can eat one wild charge, but he does have the screen up, so it's not really worth it. As he does predict very nicely, there it goes for the ice punch. He doesn't reveal an item though. So who knows? I'm gonna try and pull a switch into Tapu Fini here. Nice. Alright, Aerodactyl is in now, and the light screen is gone, which means I'm free to surf. I'm physically defensive, so there's no way he's KOing me with anything. Alright, he does decide to stay in and go for the taunt. Nice. So this does not quite knock him out, but it does a lot. And I think now I go for the Moon Blast, trying to catch the Delmies or the Milotic. Because it'll KO the Aerodactyl too. It's a good taunt though. It does kind of limit me a little bit. I have no doubt in my mind that I can use Stone Edge. 361 defense? I mean, the Stone Edge. I don't even need to count. <laughs> I don't know. So there's going to be a lot of downtime. I'm starting to recognize that Gengar Raichu likes to take time with his decisions and his plays. So this may be a long video. Uh, so hopefully just stick it out, guys. So cool thing to know about the Jirachi, actually, since it is doesn't have any offensive attacks is that I can probably set up with Zygarde on it. 
So if I maybe like sack my Lycanroc to the Jirachi, well, I can't sack anything to it because... Alright, it depends on if he has Reflect. Ooh, this is kind of loud. Hopefully not too loud. Misses the Stone Edge, that's really unfortunate. Let's see how much it would have done though. Damage would have not even done 50%, so I guess it, it would. It's it damage is damage, and I don't have recovery besides leftovers, so it would have done damage. But okay, I did keep this thing bulky. That's fine. Don't go for the ghost type move. Anchor shot. Ooh, that's damage. But I'm banded. We're gonna trap each other. <laughs> Wait, ghosts can't be trapped, right? Five sixteen attack. That's that's powerful. I don't think anything other than Porygon Z is gonna live this. Uh, don't go into Porygon Z. Nice, okay, so the Delmes is down. Nice banded Decidueye. Oh, he could definitely go Porygon here. If he goes Jirachi, I'm clicking it again. Damn, you were ahead of me. <laughs> yeah, I am. Uh, I really did think about going with um, a Jolly spread, but I actually forgot to change it, so lucky me. <laughs> Alright, Electivire is here now. This is worth saving, so... Uh, there's no way he's going for an electric type move, right? What is that? Dragon's Den remix from Pokemon Gold Silver Crystal. <laughs> he's got to be going for Ice Punch, right? I almost just want to sack Tapu Fiend. Okay, this is getting weird. <laughs> this is weird. I'm skipping this one. Onto Burn Tower remix. Okay. Do I even need this? Sucker Punch is going to actually be really nice as well as the Spirit Shackle for the Jirachi. And with Banded Leaf Blade against this thing. Ah, yeah, it's going to be really nice. Well, it's not that useful anymore. Gligar? Yeah, honestly, Gligar's not that useful. Let's go into it. If he goes for Electric type moves, he goes for Electric type move. Goes for the Ice Punch, nice. Alright. I have a feeling that he is choice in some fashion. I did go into Tapu Fini before on him, right? He switched to an Aerodactyl, okay. I'm calling his bluff. He's he's choiced. I'm going into Tapu Fini. I Moonblast. Because if he stays in and hits me, then I get good damage. All right, nice. He's got to be banded or choiced or scarfed. One of the two. And now this is in. And you can probably light screen. I could taunt him though. Ah, I should have just gone directly into this. Should I? He probably has reflect as well. Alright, I click Moonblast because he's got a switch, right? Does he have a switch? <laughs> no, I'm gonna go like and right. Yeah, 
go Lycanroc, because I can get potentially not a nice stone edge off on anything and live with my sash, as even if he's a choice scarf electivire. He can't get up a uh, reflect, so he's not gonna be able to do anything like that. Uh, if he goes Porygon or Electivire, I can hit him with a Stone Edge. Hopefully I land, and hopefully do some nice damage. Guaranteed live, even if there's Scarf. And other than that, Lycanroc's not really doing that much for me, so I don't, I don't, I don't feel too bad about this play. Oh yeah, there's the Electivire, so we know that he is locked in in some fashion. So he's either gonna outspeed with a scarf and bring me down to my sash, or I'm gonna outspeed him and him with a stone edge and then maybe KO him with an Accelerock afterwards. Okay, he switches out. He might not be, um, might not be uh, scarfed, he might be banded. He might have scarf Porygon. Also, I'm sorry for the turns, I kept them scrolled up by accident. But I can taunt this thing again and prevent it from getting up a reflector or stealth rock or anything like that. Yeah, he went for a wish there. Nice. Yeah, I love taunt. Taunt's probably one of my favorite things in this game, so. And he reveals the iron head, okay. So he is he does have an offensive move. This might be my opportunity though. I go right into Zygarde and try to go for the Dragon Dance. Because I can, there's no way I, I, I'm taking a lot of damage from uh, a. No way I'm taking a lot of damage from a Iron Head. Especially if this thing's not that um, offensive. Iron Head's doing 20. Alright, he did 20. I think I Dragon Dance here. I click Outrage over 1,000 arrows. Ooh, 1,000 arrows and potentially win the game. Wish. Okay, nice. So I should outspeed everything. Maybe not the Porygon Z. Hold up. Yeah. Porygon Z. Okay, no. I outspeed his whole team, even if they're Scarf. So I just click Thousand Arrows right here. In comes Snail Face the Milotic. Ooh, just barely living that. But I think I can click Outrage pretty safely. Okay, yo. Um, give it a burn. Burn. What ability does it have? Does it say? Wait, where's the ability? Am I crazy? Okay, uh, plus one. We're just doing 70 to 80. Where does it show ability? Am I insane? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> um, marble scale, marble scale, marble scale. 47 to 55. Ooh, okay. Good thing I checked. I'm not taking an ice beam from this. <laughs> Not worth the risk. Because I could also just calm mine right here and potentially win. Electivire comes out. I get my calm mind up. I don't think I switch out here. I think I just go for the attack. he might just try to predict me with a nice punch right here too. <sighs> He's banded though, I probably don't live. <laughs> but if he bans himself in, so if he kills me, then I know he's banded. And if I know he's banded, then I go into Zygarde and I click, click the win the game button. Because after stealth rock damage and burn, then Melrick is not going to be able to take an outrage after that. Okay, well, he's not banded. And we live it, so down goes the Electivire. Nice. His major offensive threat 
borrowing the Porygon, of course. So what was that? Was that Expert Belt or something? Was he bluffing the choice item the whole time? Can Iron Head defeat me? I don't think I get KO'd by Iron Head. He could flinch me, he could set up a light screen, but I think my play here is just go for Surf. Iron Head doesn't KO me, but he does flinch me. <laughs> That's okay though, because as soon as this goes down, I just go into my Zygarde again. A Dragon Dance to guarantee outspeed the Porygon Z. Can I KO Porygon? I should have outraged. Ah, I should have outraged. Man. That's fine, that's fine. Ooh, my Lodic actually outspeeds Decidueye. That's unfortunate. Although I do fucking have <laughs> Substriker. Sorry for the language. Substriker can actually clean up. Let's see if this... Actually, KOs me, maybe. Does not. Okay. Actually, out does Outrage get. Actually, uh, outrage, has a uh, outrage has a chance to KO. And then I think between Scarf Substrike. Uh, Accelerock and Sucker Punch, I think I can win this game. So even if this doesn't KO, which it doesn't, and also the Ice Beam does, so he must be invested somehow. But down goes the Milotic at least, and... Zeb Striker, I just click Thunderbolt. I just click Thunderbolt, and then Priority wins me the game. Alright, Porygon Z comes out. Oh, let's just put this into account. Why not? Porygon. Thunderbolt is not doing a lot. It's weird music, by the way. <laughs> I think I could try to Volt Switch. And dodge the dry attack. Oof, that'd be crispy. If he goes for the normal type move on this turn, I might just win with Bandit Sucker Punch. Nope, <laughs> he made the right play. But I think he's in range of Thunderbolt now. Which is in the Jirachi. Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. This is problematic, actually. See if he can set up a light screen right now. But either way, my play is to go into Lycanroc. Oh, I don't know if I can win this, actually. I think I just lost. Crap. I shouldn't have made that risky play. Sacramento Decidueye. I guess I need to go for the paralyzation. <laughs> Alright, he wishes. I wish I had gone to Ghost then. Huh. 
Thunderbolt. There's the light screen. Crap. Yeah, I think I lose. Just gotta keep going for Thunderbolt, though. Stealth rock. <laughs> and there goes my Lycan rock, unfortunately. Yeah, I think it wins. That's really unfortunate. Is that such a long game? And I think I was—I seemed like I was in control for most of that early part of the game. We get paralyzation. <sighs> oh, the crit! All right, I need some paralyzations. I need some paralyzations. GG. Yeah, I, I played that end game very poorly. Damn, that was a hell of a match. Nice, nice, nice game, Gengar, right? You make sure to check out his channel. The link will be down below. And uh, thanks for watching. See you next week. Keep dreaming. Peace out.